If you watched the Michael Cohen hearing today, it was pretty obvious he was embraced by Democrats for giving testimony critical of the president, while Republicans called him a convicted liar nobody should believe. Here to talk about this is Travis County GOP Chairman Matt Makowiak and Ed Espinoza. Texas. Ed, did the president's attorney reveal anything in this testimony that could get the president impeached? Well, whether or not can get him impeached, I think, is, is a harder question. Congress can impeach for the color of your tie, is the old saying, but they also don't necessarily need any real legal grounds to impeach somebody. I think uh, the better question might be, did the president break the law, which is a separate issue here. And there were two things that Michael Cohen mentioned. One is authorizing the payment to Stormy Daniels to buy the story so that it wouldn't come out during the campaign. In the context of a campaign, that constitutes a campaign expenditure which exceeds the limits that are allowed by the Federal Elections Commission. So that in itself is a problem. The next problem is the fact that Michael Cohen talked about Trump having knowledge of the Trump Tower meeting with, uh, with, with Russian uh, representatives, as well as communications between Roger Stone and WikiLeaks. That in indicates a form of collusion. That, those could be very problematic. We'll see how it plays out. Matt, Makoviak, was the testimony today credible? Yeah, so there's a couple problems with, with, with some of the things I just said. First of all, uh, he testified under oath that he, has, he knows of no evidence of collusion, which seems to me the whole reason why we're even talking about Russia and talking about the president, right? Um, so that's, that, that to me was one headline uh, coming out of this. Uh, second, as it relates to the payments, um, you know, the legal standard is whether it's something you would have done uh, on your own had you not been a candidate. And clearly, the president has made other payments uh, in the past to women. Um, and so the question of whether it happened five weeks or four weeks before the election or whether it happened two or three years ago probably wouldn't have affected his thinking. So that's a, a separate legal question that's, that's going to be looked at. We'll see where that goes. No, Michael Cohen doesn't have a lot of credibility. Uh, he revealed today he was disbarred yesterday. Uh, he is uh, a, a, he's, he's perjured. Congress once before uh, on his last last time he testified I don't know why you would invite someone who lied to Congress the last time they testified back um, and he's a felon uh, he's you know he's committed bank fraud uh, lots of other uh, charges in his past he's all got all kinds of problems the fact that this is the first witness the Democrats wanted to bring forward is pretty telling you know Ed uh, Cohen admittedly lied and he's been convicted for lying to Congress mm -hmm. and what Matt was just saying. Mm -hmm. Was his testimony today just a democratic stunt? Well, I don't know if it was a democratic stunt. I don't think it was. I think the, the issue here with, with Michael Cohen is clearly he has some credibility issues. Clearly he is going to go to jail. He has been disbarred. The fact that that is not a unique position for people within the president's inner circle. The president's campaign manager, Paul Manafort, his deputy campaign manager, Rick Gates, Michael Flynn, uh, George Papadopoulos. These are all people inside the president's inner circle who have been to jail now. And you've got Roger Stone on top of that, who's also been indicted. So, yes, Michael Cohen has problems. But the thing is, is uh, enti Trump's entire inner campaign circle has problems. And that, I think, is an important narrative here. Another important narrative out of today's committee meeting, not a single Republican defended the president. They attacked Michael Cohen. None of them defended Trump. There's liability in doing that because they don't know what exists beyond the surface of what they heard today. All righty. Well, he uh, again testifies tomorrow. Ed, Matt, thank you both very much.